All right, guys, so we have an interesting story here out of Missouri about Popeyes, right? Popeyes, which, I mean, I don't know. Popeyes is decent, it's good, but the chicken sandwich is amazing. But I don't know. I don't think their fried chicken is better than Bojangles. I could be wrong. You know, we can debate in the comment section, but um, not a huge fan of Popeyes. Uh, they have fried chicken, but a huge fan of Bojangles. I think Bojangles is better. But apparently there's a story here out of Missouri that at a Popeye's drive-thru, there was a sign seen saying it re reserves the right to refuse service to white people. Okay, that's what they're saying. They are reserving the right to refuse service to white people. There was a sign that popped up at the Popeye's restaurant in Missouri that said this. Now, let's read more here from the Daily Mail. It says, Authorities are investigating vandalism at a Popeye's in Missouri, where a sign appeared at the drive through Wednesday telling customers that new management will reserve the right to refuse service to white people. Lake St. Louis police uh, reported that the sign was placed unbeknownst to the business and that it would be uh, related to vandalism at the same Popeye's earlier this month when several uh, drive through menu signs were spray painted. Photos of the sign caused a fervor on social media. And as you can see here, uh, this is the sign, okay? Um, I think definitely, um, you know, it, it probably was a prank as the police are saying. Quote, if you're Caucasian, you may not be able to get chicken at this restaurant and Missouri resident uh, Kimberly Stores Collins posted on Facebook. Uh, quote, what is going on at that store? Uh, Michelle Moray asked the restaurant's official Facebook page. Please advise this is utter BS. Wow is all I can say, Shane Kirk posted. The backlash over the sign forced the Popeyes to close Wednesday. The restaurant main, maintains it had nothing to do with it. It was nobody at the store that posted that. Its manager told uh, KMove4, quote, I saw it all over Snapchat, Abigail Reed, a local customer at Fox 2. I think it's kind of immature for someone to put on there. It's very sad that people even came up with the, with the joke like that. Mark uh, Frisky's Jr., another uh, customer, told the network, I just hope we can put a more positive input on life and kind of be more together instead of pushing further apart. It's pretty sad. On Thursday, the restaurant's corporate office released a statement saying, we, quote, we have uh, been made aware of the situation and are investigating the matter immediately. This type of behavior does not align with our brand values and we take such allegations very seriously. The uh, franchise is cooperating with local authorities regarding this ongoing investigation. Authorities are asking anyone with information regarding the sign, uh, contact the late uh, St. Louis uh, Police Department. All right. So, um, yes, there was a sign posted that said that Popeyes was refusing service to white people that they maintain the right to do so. Now, was it a joke? Um, it probably was, right? Like, last week, there was a story about Walmart and how <laughs> Walmart sent out an email to some customers. It was it literally was like welcome to Walmart blank inward. You know what I'm saying? Use your imagination. And um, I was gonna do a video about that, but I decided not to. But my point is that if it was a joke, I think what people got to understand about these race related jokes is that people do this to get a reaction out of people. Okay, they do it because they want people to be upset. They want this stuff to make the news. They want people to talk about it. I think that you would see a lot less of these racial jokes or even things having to do with the N word, for example, right? If people just stop caring about it, right? If, if you just be like, you know what? We just gonna take it down and it never makes news. I think the motivation for a lot of these people that do stupid things like this, because it's very stupid to post something like this. Okay. Especially during a time now where, you know, you're saying, and I've talked about this a lot, how, you know, it's kind of open season or, you know, saying whatever you want to say about white people, uh, even if it's racist. Okay. Um, I just think that like the N word stuff like this, you have to ignore it. You have to set it aside and say, you know what? This is somebody who just wants attention. This is somebody that wants to get a reaction out of people. We're not even going to pay attention to it. We're not even going to entertain it. We're not going to give them what they want because that's what they want ultimately at the end of the day. They just want attention, right? Now, that's if it was a joke. Now, could it have been somebody at the restaurant? Probably could have. Honestly, honestly, I mean, it could have been somebody at the restaurant, okay? 
um, that that may have had some situation or some run in with a customer. OK, I mean, Popeyes is saying it wasn't. But who knows? Maybe somebody that was there that, you know, was working there, maybe had some run in with a customer and they got mad and posted that. That could also be a part of it. I don't know. But regardless, um, <laughs> you know, this type of stuff popping up. I'm not surprised about it. Matter of fact, I mean, again, I think that stuff like this is probably going to keep happening um, because, again, this is the times that we're living in. But who knows? I hope I'm wrong about that. But let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.